you welcome to this new video with school try on how to log in as a teacher how to manage students information as a teacher and also how to upload feeds why is this video a three-tiered video this is simply because every process leads to the next process and in case you missed our previous tutorials on the administrative manual ensure you click on the button below to have access to all our previous video we are going to be focusing on teachers aspects the teacher section of school try one of the things you need to understand that how to log in as a teacher on web how to log in as a teacher on web is another phase whereby you get to actually have access to the web interface of school try as a teacher and don't forget you can also do the same on your mobile app as well and the link to that video as well will be added to this video for you to see as well so the first thing you're going to do is to log in as a teacher so definitely if you're here to see this video that simply means you have been signed up by the school to receive your own login details effortlessly so it's very very important that you walk up to the school where you're teaching and you request for your login details if it has not been created for you once you've received these login details you go to your email inbox and you can see school try so this url is what you're going to use you click on the url and once you get to this url it immediately takes you to the teacher's dashboard login then you use your email address that you've provided during the signing up you use this email address and you effortlessly copy this email address for the login so you simply click the button box and you paste the email there and then the password as well so once you do this you're going to see you can click on remember me since it's your own dashboard as a teacher so you sign in so once you sign in you're going to be met with a screen that looks very very similar to this so this is your own dashboard as a teacher you have all the abilities to do a lot of things here including checking the list of students you have managing feeds now in this video we're going to be focusing on explaining how this layout looks like what they all do and my student section which is where you manage your students information so this is the dashboard you can see here it says that these are the latest five feeds that is once you start adding feeds it has a shuffling way to bring it to your dashboard as the latest feeds you have the calendar feature here where you can also check your calendar plans for the week and then you also have the documents tab here whereby the latest uploaded documents are going to be shared here once they are being shared as a teacher or from a student to the teacher or anyways then we have the pending app absence request under this pending absence request this is where you receive a first stamp update of every single thing you might have missed one time and then you can come to the next phase here which is my students right below dashboard here you click on my students this is where you manage your students information and once you click on my students you have access to see all the students that are allocated to you as a teacher probably you have two students in your class you will have those two students allocated to you which means you are responsible as a teacher on the school try platform and then as of now there are two students in my class if i am the teacher now you can manage this information first you can export this information in four different ways first you can copy it as a csv file you can copy it as an excel file you can save it as a pdf file and also you can print it at copy so once you click on any of these three or any of these four buttons you have access to download all this information one time and then moving on to the manage feeds which is another side to this tutorial video when you go to the next button right below my students you can see manage feeds when you click on manage feeds you'll be met with a screen that similarly looks like this now this is actually where you share updates as a teacher about the activities going on in your class how do you manage feeds you come to this top right corner here you click on add feed and when you click on add feed you'll be met with a screen that looks like this now you click on title you add the field title which is mathematics class you select the class say if it is primary two primary two and then you can say that the session you can use the current session and of course once you do this you can add that's a cross section of mathematics class so basically this is where you can add all the feed you can even take a picture of the students as the learning is taking place and you post it here once you click on save by default it's going to be shared with the parents of the students the school administrator so right here we already have mathematics class as a feed here so these are the three tiers we discussed in this tutorial video ensure you drop a like subscribe to this youtube channel because we'll be releasing more videos and ensure sure that you check out www.schooltry.com to sign up your school and take things smarter thank you very much for seeing this tutorial video we'll be with you some other time